Hey hey, Boydy here for BigBigHuge.com and this is my sixth tutorial for BigBigHuge.com uh, This one is going to be a wired guided missile. So, once again, let's get into it straight away. Okay, go to Phoenix Useful and Explosive Props. You want to spawn one of these guys, which is, I don't know what you'd want to call it, but a skinny missile. <coughs> Excuse me. What you want to spawn next to it is, I think it's in the same one, down here like an iron beam, the smallest one there. Spawn him right next to it. Now this guy is going to go inside the missile, so mainly because thrusters and stuff can't fit on the end of the nose and we need thrusters to go there. Okay, now we're going to hit wire. You want to grab, in wire detection, you want to grab GPS. Throw the GPS on the back of the iron bar. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Then head down to wire physics. You want a vector thruster. Now before you spawn it on the top, you want to go through double check. I'm not going to have any effects on it, but you can if you want. For this, um, make the force multiplier 15,000. Force minimum, zero. Um, force maximum, whatever you want. Tick bi-directional. Tick works out of water and tick works underwater. Now the next part in there is really important that you make that um, the XYZ of this correspond to the XYZ of the world. And then spawn a vector thruster on the top. Turn him around. Like that. Okay now what you want to do is you want to no collide everything that's on this iron beam. So right click on everything with a no collide tool and put it around about the middle of the actual missile itself. Like so. Just make sure that you can still get to um, all the parts on it because you still need to wire up certain things and that. That looks good so let's weld that to the missile. Just a couple. <clears throat> now what we need back in wire is your target finder which is under wire beacon. Again I've explained earlier um, what settings in here so you want target players and then in the name filter I'll get it to target me. So name filter is Boydy. Spawn one of those wherever you want. I'll chuck mine on the back there. Okay, with that, you want a beacon sensor with split XYZ ticked and output world position for the GPS coordinates. And just spawn that right next to it. Okay. Now we need wire control. Under the wire control menu you've got gate arithmetic. <laughs> Scroll down until you see subtract. And you want three of those. I use small ones because they're easier to handle. You want three of those, they're going to be your X, Y, and Z coordinates basically. Okay. You want a numpad input to whatever key you want, toggle it on value on 1, value off 0. Spawn him right there. And that's pretty much it, so let's wire him up. Okay, we'll start with the chips. Uh, you want A from the first subtract to be X. So these three here are going to be your X, Y, Z coordinates. So the first one will be X, second one will be Y, and the third one will be Z. So A from X subtract chip goes to the GPS. That's on the back. 
to X on the GPS and then A which is Y of the second chip goes to Y on the GPS and then A from the last chip goes to Z on the GPS. <coughs> now B from each chip, so X subtract B to the beacon sensor needs to go to world X and B from Y subtract goes to the beacon sensor world Y and again B from the Z subtract chip goes to the beacon sensor world Z while we're there we might as well wire the target from the beacon sensor to the um, sorry target finder on the output one okay I just want to double check that I've got the beacon sensor linked there so right click on the beacon sensor and then right click on the target finder as well don't think you need to do that but I do it just in case ok now you want to come back to the vector thruster at the front here so X on the vector thrust thruster goes to X the X chip now it gets some weird error here so just click off it but it's still actually wired to it so CX so hit Y to there and click off, but it's wired. I oh know it's weird. And then Z, Z, whatever you want to call it, to the last chip. And there. And just make sure that it is wired. X, Y, and Z is wired. Now, what you want is the multiplier from the vector thruster to the numpad input. Okay. Now we want to just get a normal thruster set him to about 15,000 as well set him to a different key as the other thruster just get like a small guy and put him on the back so this thruster is going to actually control um, what would you call it, the actual forward thrust whereas the vector thruster controls the direction of the actual missile now what you want to do is you want to change the weight of all this small crap on here and let's <laughs> fully throw it all out. Um, however, don't change the weight of the thrusters because weight really screws with thrusters. So I've put, just put one on all the extra stuff and then I'm going to make the actual missile itself 10 and then the iron beam 10. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to dupe that so I can use it again. Okay, time to test. So basically, I'll hit numpad 2 which turns on the um, the bottom thruster which gives it forward thrust and I'll run over here and again hopefully if it worked it'll go up then when it's in the air I'll turn on <coughs> and it should come directly for me okay here we go it's unfrozen He's going up and away. Let's turn on the vector thruster. Looks like it's working. And looks like we have a winner. Undo all that crap. Pull out the advanced dupe. Let's give it another go.
and on the force let it do its thing turn on the vector thruster and try and run away fail oh. have fun with your guided missile <laughs> 